I'm gonna tear this thing apart. It's a, a old FM receiver. But if you notice, two things. It's got aluminum front because the magnet's not sticking to it. And man, look at how well built this is. You, you've seen me take apart plastic before. Uh, this isn't like that at all. But one, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save as many knobs as I can. And uh, a, lot, a lot of times we can reuse those. So I'm just trying to keep them in one area over here. And then um, I'm gonna try to just take apart as much as I can here. Thing. You guys know I hang on to the screws and everything. I scrap everything. So, not wasting anything. I'm kind of going after what I call the goodies. Uh, the motherboard are inside there. Some people call them circuit boards. And, uh, I can't believe how heavy this thing is. Now this is when we used to make things in America that were extremely well built. We don't do that anymore. Everything's plastic. All the all the housings are plastic. By itself, it weighs over five pounds. So, gonna see what metals we can find. Take a look around me here. I have a container here of all steel. I have one container over there of all aluminum. I have one container here of every kind of copper, copper pipes, copper wire. And then that's that's what I call the throwaway. But actually, I put that on the curb. It's called recycling. And uh, get rid of that for free. But basically, everything I'm getting off of here is money. Uh, a lot of people talk about you know recycling and scrapping well this particular time we're recycling normally we're scrapping it isn't much but here's another piece of metal here it's starting to come apart here like I said I want to get this front piece off because I know it's aluminum Imagine sitting there screwing all these together in some factory. So many screws here. I think the front's coming apart now. Yeah, look at this. Man, look at that big piece of aluminum. You know, um, it's, it's, look at this, solid. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my aluminum. That, that was worth it right there, just taking that off. Let's see what I can find here. People have been asking me on my videos about my arm. I got a torn ligament. Uh, it's not going to stop me from doing a little bit of work. There's some jobs I, I don't feel like doing, like lifting my hand over my head. Ah, look at this. Little here. Look at that nice piece of metal. Make sure it's it's steel, because magnet's sticking to it. Oh, look at all these boards in here. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get them all. Just a lot, a lot of screws. Those are all aluminum. Oh, they're coming out of the 
thought I was going to have to bang on them, which I do love to do. Don't tell me that. Oh, it all came out. Okay. That's some heavy wire. Nowadays, I compare this with the junky stuff. Look at that hunk of aluminum there. Wow, I didn't expect to get that out of there. Hot dog. Oh, there's another one here. Okay. Well, that's some money there, and it came out so easy. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Look at all this copper now. You can see I've been scrapping a whole bunch of stuff here today. Told you I'm going to try to get my garage cleaned out. And uh, I'm sure we make videos of doing them one at a time, but I prefer to do them all together. And just get this junk, get my garage cleaned up. If you take a look behind you there, look at, look at all the stuff we still got left in the corners here. And, uh, when you're not actually out picking up, if you're doing what I'm doing, you can go uh, at steel. So if you're not actually picking up, you can spend some time making some money here. trying to fix one of these things with all this stuff in here how are you ever going to try to figure out what it is uh, more screws up. This, these were underneath that front plate that might be a piece of aluminum again after I get it off, I'll check it with a magnet. Oh yeah. That uh, feels like steel now that I got it off. Put a magnet to it, it's steel. Add it to my steel here. And there's still more to go. As you probably, if you've watched me before, I try to take everything off that I can. You never know when you're going to find a piece of copper or transformer or whatnot. This is not my favorite. I like to just smash the plastic new ones up. Just, uh, like I say, that's a piece of plastic. And that's going to go to the regular recycle. Okay. Ah, sometimes a little brute force doesn't hurt. These motherboards here, it doesn't matter if they're together or not, because I'm putting them all, well, 
I'm making a mess out of this one. <laughs> I don't think I really saved that, but take a look here. I've been saving motherboards up today, quite a few of them. And I found a screw that I forgot. Okay, this is mostly steel. I don't, I'm not gonna go after that one. Here's another piece of steel. As you see, I've only got one tiny, tiny little piece of plastic out of it so far. Here's another piece of steel. Even if I don't know what the screws are, I'm still taking them out. Hiding underneath that. Okay, I'm down to another circuit board here. I get the save the copper off of it. Get different prices for different types of metal. If you've seen some of our receipts, you'll see why we do this. Try to get all this copper off of here. And uh, get it down to a basic board. I know this here. What's that? Here, this is a board here, and it over there. And look at all this copper on here. Man, must have taken a dang genius to put this thing together. That's when Panasonic used to be built in America. Look at all these wires. This is amazing. I could never, this is more wires than in a house or a car. I mean, more separate runs. <laughs> Look at all this copper again. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Let's see where screws are hiding there again. April the 18th, 2015, and then, um, I'm not getting much. Well, I get to use my favorite tool. That speeds the process up a little bit. Okay, that's mostly steel. And then this stuff, except for a few wires, and I'm basically done. <laughs> so much copper in this. And, uh, yeah. If you uh, see here, part of this is, here's maybe a solenoid or something, but I've been keeping all that stuff separate, and I get a higher price for that. And, uh, okay. And here's the second one. Got two of those. And then here's the rest of the the boards and uh, the rest of the wire. Okay. Thank you very much. That that is what I call the very best made American stuff and mm, man I just miss America how it used to be. We used to have all the jobs here. Alright.